Hey guys, it's Sydney at Treadmill Review Guru. Today I'm here with the Walking Pad X21. This is an extremely compact treadmill that actually has a double folding mechanism. But how did it perform for us and who is it best for? Let's jump in and find out. So for me personally, I live in an apartment. I live on the fourth floor without access to an elevator. So most treadmills don't work at uh, my house. And that is where the X21 shines. It's perfect. I have enough space for it. And we really feel like it's best for users who live in an apartment, a condo, if you want a treadmill that you can use upstairs if you want something lightweight, and also if you want something that just stores where you can shove it over in a corner or even in a closet out of sight. As it's laid out like this, the X21 is 55.9 inches long, 28 inches wide, and 39.6 roughly inches high. It folds up twice, so it has a double folding mechanism. So it folds in half on the deck, and then it also folds again at the top of the deck for it to be basically vertical underneath the console and the uprights. So the console and the uprights don't move, but it folds up, it kinda reminds me of like a big briefcase when it's all folded up and it's only nine inches long. So it folds that like 56 inch roughly deck all the way up to nine inches and takes up really a small amount of space so you can shove it over in the, into a corner and you don't have to look at it when you're not using it. You don't have to worry about it taking up space. It also has front transportation wheels so you can wheel it around when it's folded up. Just know that those transportation wheels are kind of tiny <laughs> and moving this across like a really thick mat or a plush carpet is a little bit more challenging. We think maybe with an upgrade, with larger transportation wheels that would probably eliminate this issue, but you can move it around. It is also only 93 pounds. It's made out of aluminum. It feels steady, all the components on it, the, the uprights and the console remain steady even when we're uh, running on it. It's really nice that it's super lightweight and it's steady, plus it handles users up to 240 pounds, which is a pretty significant uh, weight capacity considering how lightweight and small this one is. It has a one horsepower motor. The motor's fairly quiet, so you should be able to use it in pretty much all spaces. It is a treadmill though, so it does generate sound. And with that motor size, we do recommend it primarily for walking. So it's not really best for heavier use. It's kind of better for more moderate to lighter use. We really recommend it just for walking. However, it does go up to seven and a half miles per hour. So most users will be able to jog and run. I know I'm only five foot one and I can uh, jog on it. However, we just don't re recommend using the X21 at that seven and a half mile per hour max for a long period of time. And also with the deck, it is 18, roughly 0.1 inches wide and 47.6 inches long. Like I said, I'm five foot one, our tallest reviewer is six foot five and we're able to all walk on it. I can also jog and we feel like for most, you should definitely be able to walk. If you have a shorter running stride, you'll probably be able to jog as well. And the deck is definitely, it is functional, especially with that folding mechanism. However, something we did notice, and I just want to point out that the deck, as it folds here, there is, they call it a fold hinge. So it kind of feels like a seam when that deck folds up. When you are walking and running on the deck, you can feel it underfoot. If you've used a treadmill, just know that you will definitely notice it. It is, it just, you feel like the normal deck here, and then you feel, it's kind of like a little bump, I guess. Um, it's something that I've noticed with time with using the X21, I don't notice it as much, so I definitely think that as you get used to it, you probably won't notice it, and the more you use the X21, probably won't uh, notice it at all, but just know that it is there. It doesn't affect um, the performance and how the, this treadmill works, but I do feel like it is kind of, uh, to be expected with a treadmill that folds up the way that it does. And the Walking Pad X21 comes with a one year warranty. So the console is essentially built into the handle. 
So you have the uprights here, and then the handle and this LED panel is the console that reads all of your workout metrics. So you can see everything from your time, speed, distance, and estimated calories. The treadmill is adjusted with this knob, so you can press down on it to start the deck, press down on it to pause, to also end your workout, and then you can turn it clockwise to increase the speed and counterclockwise to decrease the speed. The dial is really where you have the main functionality of using the treadmill. It's pretty easy and intuitive. I'd maybe like to see some extra uh, adjustment buttons, but really the dial, I like it. It's easy to use, it's definitely intuitive. There is also an app, so you can download the KS Fit app. It's free and you can be able to track your workouts using the app, like on your phone or your tablet. And that's where this comes in handy, so you can place your phone or tablet here as well. And, and this also removes in case you don't want it. But with the KS Fit app, you can track your workouts, you can also see your metrics, you can also see metrics like your steps, and you can uh, be able to adjust for different features, like there's a child lock feature, where if you select it, it will lock the deck so it won't move. And you can also set the maximum and minimum speed. So if you don't want the treadmill to go all the way up to the seven and a half miles per hour, you can adjust it to say go to like just five miles per hour and you can select a starting speed that's maybe like two miles per hour. So you have options with the app. So it's definitely fun to check out and it's free. But with this console, it's simple and just know that this also is the handle. So maybe for those with balance, balance assistance, uh, you don't have that side handle, so just know that it's here, but we found with, on a treadmill of this size, it is uh, plenty useful. So now I'm going to let you see and hear how the Walking Pad X21 performs, but first, be sure to like this video and subscribe to our channel. We create content and reviews like this, so when you take home treadmills like this one, you know what to expect. So here I am just at a casual walking pace at three miles per hour. Five miles per hour. And the maximum speed, which is seven and a half miles per hour. And here's Matthew, he's our tallest reviewer at six foot five, walking at three miles per hour. Here he is at five miles per hour. And here he is at 7.5 miles per hour. Thanks for watching our review. The Walking Pad X21 is a super compact treadmill. It has that double folding mechanism, so it can really be either pushed over against a wall or stored in a closet out of sight. If you are looking for a treadmill that is larger, has more training capabilities, and you have a bit more space, we recommend checking out the Horizon T101 and the Soul F63. They're in a similar price point. However, if you live in an apartment, a condo, or if you live uh, upstairs, the X21 is really an appealing option. It can be literally shoved in a closet out of the way because it folds up so small and it really takes really a minimal amount of floor space, especially compared to a lot of other treadmills. We like how easy it is to use with that dial on the console and it comes with that removable device rack so you can stream from your phone or tablet. Something to keep in mind is that since the deck folds in half, with that fold hinge, you can feel it underfoot. I do think over time that it's something to get used to. I know after using the X21 a bit, I have uh, become accustomed to it and become uh, used to it. And the transportation wheels are a little bit small. Maybe in a, another model, we would like to see just a little bit larger transportation wheels because if you're moving it, like across um, a thick mat or even plush carpet. It can be like a little bit harder to move around, but really it's only 93 pounds, so it isn't that hard to move. And it's super compact, so definitely a great compact option. Thanks again for watching. If you wanna learn more about the X21, head to treadmillreviewguru.com. We have a full written review, review there with 
all those little details. And you can check the link in our description below for the current price. And if you like this video and find it helpful, give it a like and subscribe to our channel. We create content like this for you so you can see how small treadmills like this work before you take them home. I'm Sydney with Treadmill Review Guru. I'll see you next time.